you're in my restaurant right now, so I'm in the food industry and I just continue to want to get closer to the food sources, so I'm planting an orchard out there. And basically all my plans are just to have an edible landscape, no-till, low-impact uh, environment where I can harvest crops uh, you know, to my senior years. And that's what brought me there. Well, I built a barn to house stock that you need for uh, farming. Well, I've made some mistakes. <laughs> I'm new at this and I built those buildings without permits and that is a mistake. And um, so <clears throat> I was reported by the Friends of the San Juans for that and uh, ever since then I've been trying to come into compliance so that I can continue with my orchard. So what we have right here is we have Charles who owns a little piece of property here on Orcas Island and all he wants to do is have a little farm, an orchard and, and grow some fruit, food and maybe have some chickens or something like that here. And the, he put up a barn without a permit, a little building there. And he's trying to make it right but the county is coming on him harder than they would if he was a criminal and had just broken into a bunch of people's homes or stolen a car. They're just hounding this guy over something that is just relatively a mistake that he made, something should be very easy for them to resolve. So there's a broad area of maybe 20 acres or so upslope from Charles's property, which is drained by a series of ditches, which converge on Charles's property and into his pond, which then uh, drains via a ditch down, down, down slope. And that drainage, that artificial drainage area, has been misconstrued as a stream and a wetland. In my professional opinion, as a hydrogeologist and as a licensed engineering geologist, these aren't wetlands. They don't have the right wetland hydrology. They're simply um, surficial drainage, artificial surficial drainage that happens to create a problem on a particular person's property. There's nothing natural or wetland-like about it. Not all wet ground is a wetland. And this is the, the basic misinterpretation, I feel, that has been applied to Charles's property, he's got a drainage problem because these ditches end at his property line and overflow during periods of, uh, of wet weather. But it's not wetland hydrology, it's a slope site. There's no continual saturation provided by the groundwater that would uh, allow for a wetland on a slope site. Uh, and it's simply uh, a drainage problem. So Charles Dalton is having a problem. He's stuck in this never-ending morass of bureaucracy where he can't resolve his problems quickly with San Juan County or even, he doesn't even know what to do with them. They, is it a wetland or is it not? Can, does he need a permit? Does he not? How does he get through it? They will not help him get through this process. He's trying to do the right thing here and they will not help. So the county required Charles to get a wetland report. Charles got that wetland report. Then the county had reservations about that wetland report and asked Charles to get a second wetland report when uh, some questions had been raised about it. Charles did get a second wetland report which uh, conflicted with the first report and said that there really were no wetlands on that property that it properly identified them as a drainage problem and it properly identified the quote unquote stream as a ditch. The county accepted that second report and then two weeks later after pressure from the Department of, the Eco of Ecology the, uh, the county reneged on that approval of the second report and Charles is right back in the same fix that he was a year ago. The Department of Ecology that this massive bureaucracy with almost unlimited financing comes in and exerts their control over the most minutiae, detailed aspects of these little property owners trying to resolve a permit or a little wetland issue. And they take control. And once they're involved, it just becomes a nightmare. And no longer does the local jurisdiction have any authority over what's going on. They've outsourced their authority to the Department of Ecology. The Department of Ecology views itself as sort of the wetlands department for the county. And uh, I think the county has no uh, really knowledge about how to apply these laws or how to evaluate them, so they rely upon ecology entirely. Uh, they outsource their decision making to ecology about these things, when ecology really has no authority over uh, this process. It's, it's simply uh, pressure. Now, their ecology has many licensed hydrogeologists and licensed geologists, but none of them work in the wetlands group. And these uh, wetland specialists that work for the Department of Ecology are making decisions about soils, they're making decisions about hydrogeology, uh, about hydrology, and, and they're really not qualified to do so. You're supposed to be licensed in order to make determinations and interpretations of those uh, geologic factors. The person who reviews the wetlands reports for San Juan County, Paul Anderson, is not a licensed hydrogeologist. He is uh, a professional wetland scientist but he himself admits that his specialty is habitat, he has no training in soils, he has no training in hydrogeology, and from our experience he makes a lot of mistakes. So, I just thought, wow, I can't afford a new wetlands um, report, but I guess I have to really to um, 
make this work out. I mean, I can tear down that shed, but all of a sudden it just started feeling like they were pushing me around uh, in a way that was unnecessary. So I had the new wetlands report done, handed it in, and got a letter from the, pro from the assistant prosecuting attorney saying, great, <clears throat> this changes things. Now we just need you to fill out applications for after the fact building permit for your barn and for the shed for a no permit because it's a small enough shed where it doesn't really need to be permitted. So that's great. I was happy. That was really exciting news. That happened just before Christmas and it really made my day. Two weeks later though, uh, beginning of January, middle of January, I got another letter from the building department saying, sorry, disregard that last letter. We have information now from Paul Anderson, the Department of Ecology, State Department of Ecology, and he is rejecting your new wetlands report. So Charles Dal Dalton is actually suffering from trifecta of pain, basically. You have San Juan County, basically, that's outsourced their authority to the Department of Ecology. Then you have Department of Ecology, this massive bureaucracy, unaccountable to anybody, jumping in. And once they're involved, it can't be good for anyone. And then you have this special interest called Friends of San Juan that has hired five employees in San Juan Islands to do nothing but run around and file all these complaints against people like Charles. And so he's suffering where this, this average guy is being hit from all sides, these three groups. Additionally, if he had a lot of money, if he was Bill Gates, he could probably just hire some employees and pay it off. But because he's an average guy and he doesn't have unlimited resources and financing to deal with this, he's stuck and it, and it really hurts him. Now maybe if he made a big donation to Friends of San Juan, they'd go away. But the point is that this isn't right what's happening to Charles and I think these are the kind of problems that uh, we need to deal with. Yeah, I'm really irritated with Friends of the San Juans. The head of Friends of the San Juans' name is Stephanie Buffum, and she's come to my property and she's taken photos over and over and has reported over 50 times to the county that um, I'm doing whatever I'm doing. Some of them are outright untruths. One time she, we were planting uh, apple trees in the back of my property and was using pallets to make a barrier to keep the deer away. And that was like a Thursday afternoon and Friday morning by 10 o'clock the county had called us and told us that they had received a, plan, a complaint which turned out to be from Stephanie Buffum that we were building a greenhouse on top of a fish bearing stream within hours of having done that. And they came, you know, and that kind of stuff, she just kept calling and kept calling. And so the thing I want to say is the Friends of the San Juan has been very unfriendly to me. This has turned into a money game. If I made a lot more money, I think I could make things happen the way I want to. Uh, but being just kind of a working class person, uh, I think that it's tough. I don't think another working class person could make it through because I couldn't afford it, some of the things that I've kind of just been sported in this situation. I don't feel like you're really encouraged to do what, like an old school homesteading scenario where you're just, doing what you can, <clears throat> like I'm focusing on growing food and then the county is supposed to be interested in more agriculture so that we can be more self-sustaining as a community and that's where my head is and uh, I felt like I'd have more support for that uh, but it, in practice it doesn't work out that way and I have other farm friends who are trying to who are even further along, who are living, you know, making their living farming and the county is still really hard on them, making it really hard for them to make a living. So it's really hard for working class people to develop the way they want to here. So like if you do have wetlands on your property uh, that the county's already designated, you know, whether they're actual wetlands or not, it's up to the property owner to disprove it. And that's where I find it really difficult because, you know, I could have spent up to $25,000 um, trying to disprove my wetlands and I just don't feel like you know that's flexibility that everyone has and but now I realize that it's if you have any little puddle on your property you better watch out because it's tough to get around it after that and you've got to prove it yourself that it's not wetlands and that can be a real challenge to continue developing your property and I think people are afraid of that and <laughs> I don't know ahead of time, I don't know what I have done because this has been a real challenge for me. It's been very stressful and it's going on a couple of years dealing with.